Hi everyone, in this video set we will be looking at the AES Crypt tool. Uh, it's a free open source software that uses a 256-bit uh, encryption algorithm that is used to secure your files with a password. Uh, this is great for securing sensitive files that you might be storing or transferring to someone else to see. Um, it will only allow people to see it if you give them the password. Uh, this is also great to use when you're storing information on a USB stick or an external hard drive that someone could possibly take or you could possibly lose and you don't want anyone having access to that information. <laughs> so to get this software, you'll want to go over to the download page uh, there are multiple downloads that you can use. Um, there's the GUI for the 64-bit operating system and the GUI for the 32-bit operating system. So you'll want to check which operating system you're actually running on your computer. Uh, there's also a console uh, version that is a little bit more difficult to use, so we'll stick with the GUI version. Uh, there's also the source code if you want to. Uh, compile your own uh, software for that. Uh, there's also different versions for Android, and there's Apple, Linux support. There's also support for different libraries, so if you want to add it to your web page or application. So we'll go ahead and open up our downloads folder since I already downloaded it. Um, so you can see here, uh, it'll come in a zip file. And we'll just open it up here. Um, and to install it, you'll just want to double click on this MSI uh, document and it'll run the installer. If you get an error, you'll want to use the setup um, and it should install it for you. So we'll go back up here um, to encrypt a document. All you have to do is right click and you see this AES encrypt. It will open that up, type in our password, permit, so you don't permanently lose access to your file as long as you remember that password. You hit OK, and it'll create the .aes document right here. Um, as you can see, if you try to open it, it will throw an error saying that it's unopened unable to output the file because it already exists. For security purposes and not get that error, you're going to want to delete this file so no one can read it unless they have the password. If you do decrypt, it will create the file. You'll just want to make sure you delete it when you're done using it. Um, as you can see here, AES Encrypt does not work with folders. So to bypass that, you would want to put it in a zip folder. You can just right click and send to zip. And you can see right there you have a zip folder. This is great for storing multiple files and encrypting it with one key. So you just go here. Type in the password. And here you have your encrypted zip folder. This is great when you're sending a lot of files to someone, but you need to have them stay encrypted. And on our next video, we'll show you how to do this in a Mac environment.